So in this video, I'm going to be showing you reaction three of the copper cycle lab. And in reaction three, it's a single replacement reaction. We take some aluminum and combine it with the copper chloride solution. And in this reaction, the aluminum will take the place of the copper in the copper chloride solution to form aluminum chloride, which will be a solution, it'll be clear, and copper metal. So originally aluminum is by itself. After the reaction, um, the copper is by itself. What's happening in this reaction is aluminum is actually losing its electrons to become aluminum ion. When it loses its electrons, it actually gives back copper its electrons because copper is an ion. It has lost electrons, so it gets some electrons back and it turns back into copper metal. So if you wouldn't mind just coming in on close on this. There is some bubbling that takes place because um, there is a little bit of acid left behind in the reaction. And it's also reacting with the aluminum, but um, I'm not sure if you can see it with the angle, but it's becoming uh, darker colored. So again, the bubbling is a secondary reaction occurring between the aluminum and some leftover acid that was in from the previous reaction too. Um, I'm just gonna shake it a bit and you can see that copper newly formed copper becomes dislodged and is kind of floating around in there. It will float on the bottom. As this reaction takes place, the blue color starts to fade because it is the blue ions that are making, it is the copper ions that are making the solution blue. As those copper ions get their electrons back and become copper metal, they're no longer dissolved in the solution. So um, they are becoming less concentrated and it is getting less and less blue. Um, I let that keep going for a bit and bring one of the reactions over that took place. This has been sitting overnight. You can see the copper metal formed. This is uh, what this one will end up looking like eventually. So this is a single replacement reaction. The aluminum is replacing the copper. So aluminum was originally by itself as the metal. At the end, copper is by itself. And in the uh, clear solution here is the aluminum chloride um, dissolved in water. If we were to isolate that solution and evaporate off all the water, it would leave behind a white powder, which is the aluminum chloride. So um, I'm just gonna shake this a little bit more. As this reaction takes place, one thing that I do notice is that it is giving off heat. So the reaction is exothermic. It's giving off heat as the aluminum atoms are replacing the copper ions to form the copper metal. So hoping that you can see just with this that it has already turned less of a blue color. Um, the reaction is speeding up quite a bit and more and more copper chunks forming, floating at the bottom. Again, it has a warm sensation until eventually, this is a different one, you end up with copper at the bottom. Um, I think that this is a better one, showing the copper at the bottom and there's a chunk of something in there. It must be aluminum foil that did not react. So reaction three, single replacement. Aluminum replaces copper in the copper chloride solution. Thanks.